Dirk Derrick Banks, born October 19, 1992. Known professionally as Lil Dirk, is one of the biggest rap artists to come out of Chicago. He is a founder of the record label Only the Family, or OTF. Dirk grew up in Inglewood, on the south side of Chicago, Illinois. His father was incarcerated when Dirk was only seven months old. Dante Banks Sr. was arrested in 1993 for cocaine distribution and later sentenced to life in prison. Banks recently revealed that he received a lengthy sentence after he refused to snitch on Gangster Disciple co-founder Larry Hoover. Dirk's father was a top Gangster Disciple member who allegedly made millions of dollars dealing crack cocaine through the late 80s and early 90s. Growing up without a father was hard for Dirk and his siblings. His mother was a hard-working nurse. She spent most of her time working and was hardly home. Dirk recalled there were times when they didn't have enough food at home. Dirk, along with nine other family members, all lived in one house sharing three bedrooms. The family struggled to pay bills. Sometimes the lights and water were even turned off. The family was forced to use candles for light and borrow water from neighbors. Dirk's older brother, Dante Banks Jr., a.k.a. D-Thane, began running the streets at an early age. He became a member of a black disciple set by the name of Dog Pound. It wouldn't be long before Dirk would follow in his big brother's footsteps. Before making music, Dirk had a passion for basketball. Although he never played any organized sports, Dirk was always a good basketball player. At an early age, Dirk began running the streets and later joined the Black Disciple set by the name of Lamron. Lamron meaning normal spelled backwards. Normal Avenue is a street in Englewood. The gang territory runs along from 59th to 67th. One of the gang leaders is a guy by the name of Lil Law. Lil Law is the son of a notorious black disciple leader, Big Law. Dirk would eventually become friends with rapper Lil Reese, who's also a member of the Lamron set. They both shared an interest in music. Dirk began posting music on social media such as MySpace and YouTube. He began taking his career serious at the age 17 after having his first child with Nicole. Nicole Cavone and Dirk started going out in 2008 and they married shortly thereafter. In 2011, the couple welcomed their first child, Angelo Banks and their second child, Bella, was born on July 20th, 2013. Dirk developed a drug addiction as a teenager. He was addicted to lean and prescription pills such as Xanax and Percocet. He began hanging out in the streets all night. Some even say that Dirk was a young hitter. He allegedly slid with other Lamron members on rival gangs. Lamron built an alliance with other black disciple sets in Chicago, such as O Block, 600, TYMB, Dog Pound, Front Street, Black Gate, Low Life, THF, 46, and several other sets. They called themselves 300 OTF, Only the Family. The name stems all the way back from the 90s. It was a name used by the BDs in the Calumet buildings. The founding members were Whoop, Lil Vernie, Lil Law, Dirk's older brother d Thay, Killer Kells, Mubu Crump's younger brother OTF Banks, among others. Whoop and Lil Vernie are the sons of Big Vernie. Big Vernie was a known kingpin who allegedly ran a $100 million a year operation from the Calumet building in the early 2000s. 
Lil Vernie was feared in the neighborhood. He allegedly began catching bodies at an early age. He was respected by people such as O.D. Perry, Frito Santana, and other members of 300. Lil Durk now had hundreds of BDs behind him to support his music career. Durk and Lil Reese began recording music together in 2010. Their single, L's Bees, reached hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube. In 2011, Durk released two singles that really opened the door for him. Sneak Dissin' and I'm a Hitter both received generally positive feedback. Around this time, fellow 300 member Chief Keith was making a lot of noise on the underground scene. His videos on YouTube were getting millions of views. Lil Reese was loved in O-Block. He often hung out with Chief Keith, BJ, T-Roy, and other O-Block members. Lil Reese was said to be a wild youngster. He allegedly put in a lot of work for 300. Chief Keith and Lil Reese began recording music together around 2012. At first, Lil Reese didn't want to make music with Chief Keith, but after appearing in a lot of Sosa's videos, Reese decided to make music with his friend from O-Block. In March of 2012, Chief Keith and Lil Reese released I Don't Like. The video had over 28 million views on YouTube before being taken down. In that same month, Lil Durk released his breakout single, L's Anthem. L's Anthem was huge in Chicago. In the song, Durk disses a rival gang by the name of Brick Squad. Brick Squad is an insane gangster disciple set located on 69th and Wentworth to Halstead. Joseph Coleman, also known as Lil Jojo, was a member of Brick Squad. After first seeing Lil Durk and Reese both get signed to Def Jam, and then seeing Chief Keefe sign a record deal with Interscope, Lil Jojo wanted a piece of the pie. Month after Dirk released L's anthem, Lil Jojo released drill classic BDK, meaning Black Disciple Killer. Lil Jojo used Chief Keefe's Every Day instrumental and dissed the whole Black Disciple Nation. Lil Jojo was next to blow on the Chicago drill scene. His videos on YouTube began attracting worldwide attention. He began taunting Lil Reese. On September 4th, 2012, Lil Jojo was shot and killed. People began pointing fingers at Lil Reese and other GBE members. This is what attracted the rest of the world to the drill scene. We all realized that it was really a war going on in Chicago. In 2013, Lil Durk released Drill Classic, This Ain't What You Want. It was his biggest song at this point. You can see OTF members all through the video. Dirk's fourth mixtape, Signed to the Streets, was released on October 14, 2013. Dirk reportedly inked a deal with French Montana's Coke Boys label in 2013 as well. Chief Keith and Dirk had a close relationship up until the summer of 2013. This changed when a guy from O-Block by the name of Trey Five was arrested, and Chief Keith allegedly refused to help pay his $25,000 bail. Lil Dirk was arrested weeks later on a gun charge and needed help with his bond as well. He was allegedly having financial problems at the time, and Def Jam refused to bail out their artist. Members of O-Block had all allegedly came together to try to come up with the money to bail Trey Five out of jail. Everyone expected Sosa to help out with the bail. Instead of helping O-Block bond Trey Five out of jail, Chief Keith allegedly took it for a joke. Chief Keith flashed money and bragged about spending a lot of cash on clothes and jewelry. 
members of O-Block began losing respect for Sosa. Dirk's lawyer would have nine affidavits from witnesses who confirmed Dirk's innocence. One witness also admitted the gun was his. Dirk was released on July 18, 2013. Five days later, Chief Keefe would send a shot at Dirk on Twitter. Dirk began firing back. Lil Dirk promised OTF that he wouldn't let them down. Even before making millions of dollars, Dirk was still helping out members of OTF. He was doing things such as bonding people out of jail, putting money on incarcerated members' books. He also helped pay for lawyers and funerals. On September 2nd, 2013, Jerome Wood, also known as Jay Money from O Block, was allegedly shot and killed by Lil B from STL. Jay Money was a close friend of both Chief Keith and Lil Dirk. For some reason, Chief Keith didn't attend Jay Money's funeral. Lil Dirk and other 300 members didn't appreciate that. In 2014, Lil Dirk and Chief Keith will settle their differences but began beefing again months later. Dirk also began beefing with rappers Tiger in the game that same year. The beef started when Dirk mentioned Tiger's name in one of his songs. In May of that year, Tiger teamed up with the game and released the diss track titled Chirac to LA. In the song, Tiger in the game made Lil Dirk look weak. They threatened to take Dirk's jewelry and stated that they're welcome in Chicago anytime. The game gave shout outs to other Chicago drill rappers such as Lil Reese and Chief Keef in the diss song. The song almost damaged Lil Dirk's image. To make things worse, Chief Keef posted the Chirac to LA artwork on his Instagram, siding with the game and Tiger. Around this time, Chief Keef and GBE were beefing with the rap group Migos. Lil Dirk sided with the Migos. In June of 2014, Lil Durk and members of OTF ran into the game and his crew at a nightclub in LA. Durk and his crew asked the game to step outside of the club to supposedly fight Durk one-on-one. -on -one. It was clear that the OTF crew had other plans. Durk was with a gang of trigger-happy shooters. Something would have definitely happened that night if the game would have stepped outside to fight Lil Durk. The beef between Lil Durk and the game ended the next day when older guys from Chicago contacted the game. The game and Lil Durk had a conversation over the phone and ended the beef quickly. Chief Keith was no longer welcome in Chicago. In April of that year, his Chicago home was allegedly broken into by some O Block members. Chief Keith's manager at the time had called 911 to report an armed robbery inside the house. Hours later, a 33-year-old man was shot in the same house. Shortly after, O-Block member C. Murder was allegedly shot by Keith's older cousin, GBE Blood Money. 
Blood Money had enough of O Block bullying his little cousin. Days later, GBE Blood Money was shot and killed outside of a relative's home. The murder remains unsolved. O Block and Front Street were no longer allies. Members of Front Street have made it clear that Blood Money was backdoored. Lil Dirk represents loyalty. It's obvious that he has a lot of love and respect for his fellow Black Disciple gang members. He never talked bad about Sosa in any of his interviews. Dirk just wanted the BDs to win. Early in his career, Dirk made connections in the industry to blackball his ops. Some may say that was a coward's move, but Dirk was only playing chess. He wanted to stay ahead of his enemies. He even helped other BD rappers get on. Dirk supported fellow OTF members such as Rondo No. 9 and L.A. Capone. The day L.A. Capone was killed, he was leaving the studio after recording a track to send Lil Dirk. According to Lil Dirk, L.A. texted him hours before he was killed, but he was so high he couldn't reply to the text. Dirk became one of the top faces in the drill movement. Unlike Sosa, he participated in the war. This is a real famous place, you hear me? This is a real famous place, baby. And it's a bus stop, it's a real famous place, baby. I ain't gonna laugh at you. I'm saying. In May of 2014, Dirk's cousin OTF Newski was shot and killed just days after signing a record deal. Lil Dirk was heartbroken. Him and Newski were very close. It's even alleged that Dirk was present when the shooting took place. O51 Melly was the alleged shooter. Many believe that Dirk's the reason Nooski was killed. Just months after losing OTF Nooski, OTF Chino was shot and killed. Again, O51 Melly was the alleged gunman. Dirk lost a lot of friends and family members in the streets. In 2014, he told Vlad TV that he had lost almost 30 friends in the streets at the age of 20. The sad part is that it wasn't over. The war in Chicago was still going on. Evil continued following Lil Dirt. In September of 2015, a shooting took place outside Dirk's concert in Philadelphia that left one man dead. Lil Dirk's tour bus was shot up as well. No one was arrested for the shooting, but police told the local paper that the shooting suspect was wearing a black t-shirt that said OA. A fan of Lil Dirk was even gunned down in a suburban Chicago neighborhood. 17-year-old Maxwell Goddard was allegedly killed for repping GDK, meaning gangster disciple killer. The drugs helped Dirk cope with all the death around him. The lean and the Percocet numb his feelings temporarily. Some say that Dirk looked possessed at times. Any spiritual being can see that he's been followed by darkness. There's a lot of blood on Lil Dirk's hands. In 2015, Dirk released his debut studio album, Remember My Name. The album debuted at number 14 on the Billboard 200 and only released one single, Like Me. In 2016, Lil Dirk released his last album with Def Jam Records by the name of Two Times. The single, My Beyonce, featuring Dej Loaf, was a hit. It showed a different side of Dirk. They dated for a little while. This was shortly after the release of her 2014 hit song, Try Me. 
Drill fans didn't take a liking to Dirk's R&B style at the time. Chicago drill music began fading away. Drill rappers such as Lil Reese, Fredo Santana, and Chief Keef were still making decent music, but it didn't give the fans that 2012-14 feeling. In 2017, Lil Durk began taking over the drill scene. He grew out his hair and began making classic street songs. That same year, he even collaborated with his childhood friend Lil Reese and released drill classic, Distance. Months later, he released the classic soulful song, Make It Out. This was the beginning of a new Lil Durk. Chicago drill music was now back. Two thousand eighteen was a huge year, not only for Dirk but for the whole drill movement. Wooski released the drill classic Computer Remix, and FBG Duck released Slide. That old two thousand twelve feeling was now back. Dirk allegedly helped O Block member King Von be the murder charge by paying for a good lawyer. In December of 2017, King Von was acquitted on all charges and released from jail. In 2018, King Von started rapping and signed the Lil Durk's OTF record label. Von quickly became a star. Some say he was the best drill rapper ever. Lil Durk was forced to step his game up. King Von's debut album, Welcome to O-Block, is said to be the best album from a drill rapper. He became the face of drill music. His name was now just as big as Dirk's. Von took the drill movement to another level. This only made Dirk look good. Dirk signed a lot of BD rappers from the neighborhood to his OTF label. That was now a whole lot of money floating around. That made the BDs in the neighborhood way more stronger than the GDs. Sets such as O-Block and 600 took advantage of the situation. Lil Mister from the Gangster Disciples said Wooga World was Lil Dirk's younger cousin. Lil Mister was a close friend of Lil Jojo. He was allegedly killed by friends of Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk made it clear that he ride with OTF before his own blood cousins on the 2020 track Take Drugs. Lil Verney was known to be Lil Dirk's muscle. Like I said earlier, he had a lot of power in Chicago. He allegedly had everyone in fear. Unfortunately, back in 2016, Lil Verney was shot in the back and paralyzed. Around this time, Mubu Crump and his crew was beefing with Lil Dirk and OTF. The beef allegedly started back in 2014. Mubu Crump was a gangster disciple from a set by the name of Mubu. Crump was known as the scorekeeper because he would share old stories on social media making members of OTF look bad. Reesey like, nigga, where that cat that don't beat me? Jump over there and choke him. I'm like, damn. <laughs> choke a book out on him. Now, I, I been knew you was going on with Dirk. I was right there when you choked Dirk. You telling me I don't know what's going on. In 
In 2016, Lil Durk's DJ was attacked in Lenox Mall by the Mubu crew. A lot of shooting took place between the two crews. In June of 2017, Mubu Crump's close friend, Kurt Mack, was allegedly killed off by an OTF member when Crump was incarcerated. Crump continued attacking OTF. When he was released from jail, in 2018, he even released a diss track by the name of OTFK, meaning OTF Killer. A month later, Mubu Crump was shot dead outside of a house party. He was 32 years old. Lil Dirk decided to move to Atlanta around 2015. He wanted a different scenery and a different vibe. In Atlanta, he was much safer. He didn't have to worry much about his ops sliding on him, and now he could fully focus on making music. By 2018, Dirk lost close to 100 family members and friends. Bodies continued dropping in Chicago. Dirk gave his fellow OTF gang members a way out. He helped as many people as he could. After signing King Vaughn, Buka 600, Mimo 600, Just Blow, and THF Bay Zoo in 2018, Dirk was now a real boss. Some say he ran a record label full of killers and reminded hip-hop fans of the old Death Row Records. It's no secret that Dirk ran with a bunch of killers. THF Bezu was allegedly one of the killers Dirk ran with. Bezu was a black disciple from a set called THF, meaning Trigger Happy Family. Lil Dirk and Bezu were close friends. Back in 2014, Bezu was arrested at Dirk's apartment for a 2009 murder. While arresting Bezu, the cops found loaded weapons in the apartment that charged Lil Dirk. Dirk allegedly told the cops, I got these pipes because people want my money. He was charged with unlawful use of a weapon by a felon and pleaded guilty to a gun possession charge and was only given probation. THF Zoo later beat the 2009 murder case. Lil Dirk's father filed an appeal after spending over 20 years in prison and was granted freedom in February 2019. Dirk was happy that his father was finally free. On Tuesday, February 5th, 2019, investigators say that Lil Dirk and King Vaughn were involved in an incident in Midtown Atlanta where they robbed and shot someone. Reports state $30,000 was taken and the victim was shot and nearly died. Dirk is seen on camera firing shots from a car and King Vine is seen on foot running and firing shots at the victim. The entire thing took place in the parking lot of upper class restaurant, The Varsity. Arrest warrants were later issued for Dirk, Vaughn, and THF Bezu. Vaughn and Bezu were arrested on May 29th of that year. Dirk turned himself in the following day. Just before turning himself in to local authorities, Dirk spoke with WSB-TV2 about why he surrendered to authorities. During the interview, Dirk said, I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to run from, when asked why he was choosing to surrender. Law enforcement plans to charge Dirk with five felony counts, including criminal intent to commit murder, aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during the commission of a felony, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and another charge of associating with the criminal street gang to participate in a crime. On June 20th of that year, Dirk was granted a $250,000 bond. Hours later, he was bonded out from Georgia's Fulton County Jail. Hey. Yo, we out here. We out here. Yo, what's up? I'm getting fired. King Vaughn and THF Bezu were later released as well. Vaughn and Dirk couldn't legally be around each other till after the trial. This is the reason Lil Dirk wasn't in any of Vaughn's later videos. They were only allowed to be in the studio together. King Vaughn was forced to push his career by himself. He could no longer do shows with Dirk. 
it was time for Vaughn to turn up even more. FBG Duck was a gangster disciple rapper from the set STL. He was signed to Sony Records, but was allegedly working on a deal with rap a -Lot. Duck was a big deal in Chicago. He helped make drill music what it is today. On August 4th, 2020, FBG Duck was shot and killed on East Oak Street in the Gold Coast neighborhood in Chicago. He was 26 years old. The very next day, King Von released a single, All These, featuring Lil Durk. The song took off fast. Even FBG Duck fans began focusing on Von. That day, King Von became the hottest drill rapper. Fans thought that the war was all over. It was clear that OTF was victorious. That same month, Drake released his hit single, Laugh Now, Cry Later, featuring Dirk. That single took Lil Dirk to another level. The song has now reached close to 1 billion views on YouTube. On October 30th of that year, King Von released the classic debut studio album, Welcome to Oblock. A week later, King Von was shot and killed in Atlanta. He was 26 years old. Lil Durk was heartbroken. Not only did he lose his top artist, he lost his childhood friend. The ops began celebrating King Von's death. The beef between OTF and Youngboy NBA's affiliate, Quando Rondo, and his crew was now uncontrollable. Quando wasn't able to do any shows. He knew that OTF wanted him dead. Lil Timmy was arrested for the King Von murder, but was later granted a bond. Everyone knew that NBA Youngboy and 4KT were involved in this beef as well. Lil Durk began hanging out with Youngboy enemy Baton Rouge rapper Fredo Bay. Tensions between OTF members sparked after Vaughn's death. 600 members Breezy and Mimo began talking reckless on social media. I be people to sleep this so I'm gonna just I'm gonna wait somebody say something hey. about me so I can go I can. on Christmas Eve of 2020 Dirk released his sixth studio album The Voice the album received mixed reviews by music critics a deluxe edition was released on January 29th 2021 with 12 additional tracks Dirk was now a huge rap star. After being featured on Pooh Shiesty's hit single, Back in Blood, Lil Dirk became a king in the drill world. His lyrics in the song were raw and fun to listen to. He mentions Mubu Crump in the song. Only true fans knew who he was talking about when he said, you was dissing on my cousin, now you're a all in his backwood. This was a new little Dirk. More fans began taking him serious. On The Voice Deluxe album, Dirk dissed the deceased FBG Duck on a single, Should Have Duck, featuring Pooh Shiesty. He about to get hat like Duck. Dirk! 
Dirk hurt because V-Roy gone. He hurt. He hurt V-Roy. Well, you better take that who made the uh, uh, V-Roy gone. Not done. Because he ain't doing. Lil Dirk has been in a relationship since 2017 with social media personality and Instagram model India Royale. Two quickly fell in love and moved in together. They had a daughter in 2018 and named her Willow. India encouraged Dirk to stop taking Percocet pills. Dirk tried to kick the addiction several times, but opioids are really hard to quit. Quitting opioids cold turkey could cause seizures and other serious complications. India never judged Dirk for his addiction and stood by his side. According to Lil Dirk, at the time, he had slowed down on the drugs a lot. It was obvious that Dirk was maturing. He began spending most of his time with India. At the time, OTF was only focusing on getting revenge for King Vaughn. They felt that the war was over in Chicago after the death of FBG Duck. In June of 2021, OTF Vernie went to social media and said that the war is over between the BDs and the GDs. No more BD, GD, what going on? Y'all know the only odds we got, they ain't even in the city, so. The very next day, Lil Dirk's older brother, D Thank, was shot and killed outside of a nightclub in Chicago. More bodies began dropping immediately in Chicago. The war was not over yet. That same month, Lil Durk and Lil Baby released their collaborative studio album titled The Voice of Heroes. This album became Lil Baby's second and Lil Durk's first U.S. number one album on the chart. Durk's career was looking really good, but he couldn't escape his demons. The following month, a shootout took place at Lil Durk's home in Atlanta, when a group of unidentified armed individuals forced their way in at around 5 a.m. Dirk and his girlfriend India were home at the time and exchanged fire with the assailants. Luckily, no one was hurt or killed. It seemed like the walls were closing in on Dirk. In October of that year, five O Block members were later arrested for the murder of FBG Duck. Charles Liggins, also known as C. Murder, Kenneth Robertson, also known as Kenny Mack, to Carlos Alford, Christopher Thomas, and Marcus Smart, a.k.a. Muwak, were all charged with murder in aid of racketeering and federal firearm violations and assault in aid of racketeering. In that same month, NBA Youngboy was released from jail in order to serve the remainder of his pre-trial jail time under house arrest. In 2022, young boy and Lil Dirk began dissing each other on wax. In February of that year, Dirk released a single, Aha, and the song he sent shots at young boy in his camp. NBA young boy released a diss track that same day titled, I Hate Young Boy. The two went back and forth on social media. This beef only blew Dirk up even more. On March 11th of this year, Dirk released his seventh studio album, 7220. 7220 refers to Dirk's grandmother's old address. Many say that this is Dirk's best work so far. Rolling Stone gave the album four and a half stars, and it debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 chart. In March of this year, Dirk allegedly signed a $40 million contract with Sony Music. Meanwhile, Mimo continued to feud with OTF members. He was now signed to WAC 100. There are even rumors that Dirk had Mimo robbed. I doubt y'all got the ops on there like a mother took Mimo chain. How do y'all look? Y'all look lame. Gene them laughing at y'all goofy. I look goofy, I still got all my jerk.
On May 13th of this year, THF Bay Zoo was arrested by the feds in Chicago for allegedly having three machine guns in his possession. As of now, he's being held with no bond. Lil Dirk sends OTF members a message on social media. FBG Cash was one of the last members left of the Flyboy gang. In 2022, he began dissing not only Lil Dirk and OTF, but many of their deceased members as well. FBG Cash videos began getting millions of views on YouTube by trolling Lil Dirk and OTF. On June 10th of this year, FBG Cash was shot and killed. He was 31 years old and had just signed a record deal with Rap A Lot weeks before. It's obvious that Lil Durk and OTF are being targeted by the feds. It's no secret. I truly hope this story has a good ending. We all know that Durk has a whole lot of blood on his hands. Maybe someday he'll repent of his sins and wash away the blood. I hope y'all enjoyed this story. Thank you for watching. Peace. God bless.